today I would like to introduce you to this uh, keyboard I'm using about two years now. Uh, so you can see this video something like a long-term review. Um, this is the Nufi Halo 65. This is the second keyboard that Nufi had produced. Before this they got a small low profile TK list keyboard. Now they have I think 75% uh, with the switches uh, with the function keys and the full size one like this. They look exactly like this but bigger. So at first I would like to talk about the build quality and the functions and then uh, I want to say about something about that I don't like about this uh, keyboard. There are not much things that I don't like, but there are some. Okay, the build quality is um, spotless, it's very nice. It's made of aluminum and the plastic. The top part is aluminum, the bottom part is plastic. It has on the bottom uh, retractable feet for changing the angle of the keyboard. So you can change it to the height you like and prefer. Uh, it is a Bluetooth um, and wireless keyboard. You can use it with wire uh, if you like wired ones. It has a USB-C cable with it, but you can use any USB-C cable you have there or you like. Um, in this part is the wireless dongle. I mainly use it with Bluetooth because my main board for my PC has a Bluetooth built-in so I usually don't use the dongle. Here you see the switch, you can switch between wireless, wired and off. Uh, other function is it has RGB built-in, so it has uh, RGB for the keycaps and it has an RGB light strip around the keyboard, it's hard to see on camera but it has like a strip going around the keyboard so it is the halo effect that's why it's called the Nufi Halo 65 65 because it has no numpad and case switches, uh, function buttons um, other things, the price of it, it's uh, very compelling I think it costs around 129 euro, uh, euros dollars uh, I bought it two years ago for the total of $160, $20 shipping and the rest was the keyboard. I bought some accessories with it. For $19 you can get this uh, handrest. It's made of some PVC or plastic. It's a see-through and the bottom part is metal. Well, I think it's aluminum. So it clips like that, it's see-through, it looks good and your hand can rest on it. It's very nice. Uh, it comes standard with couple key switches. You can switch to personalize the look of it. You're getting a couple of colors and this neat tool to switch the keycaps and the keys itself and you're getting some samples for the keycaps if you like to uh, try it out and later you can buy them uh, for I think $66 uh, at their website. But I would like to say I got the brown switches and I try some of these and the only noticeable difference was with the blue switches because they are clicky, I don't know if you heard this, uh, they are a bit clicky and the other ones, the red ones, the baby raccoon ones, the Bambi, baby kangaroo ones, they all sound and feel, for me at least, the same. Uh, as a pre-purchase and one of the first customers, I got the shine through keycaps for free, there are black and uh, the RGB lights through the text on the keycaps. Um, on the standard one, the white ones, they don't light through, they light around them. So if you like 
uh, black ones you can switch them i got a video on this channel where i switch from black to white back so you can look it up and see how it works uh, otherwise i have unboxing on this uh, keycap uh, keycap skateboard uh, i put it on this channel around two years ago if you like to see the unboxing and how and what it in the, was in the box you can go on this channel and look it up um, otherwise there is not much to say it is a very nice keyboard ah the contrast the things i don't like on for for uh, on this keyboard uh, is that it doesn't have function key in caps because uh, you need to press fn and then use the number numbers here to use this uh, function keys otherwise um, you can uh, program it like uh, that that you can press fn and use the marked uh, uh, functions on the number pads like uh, pause music uh, mute the sound uh, and stuff like that but i'm usually using the function keys so I can quick save with Fn and 5 it works like you are pressing F5 mm, that's the mi but it's a minor thing other thing is it doesn't have a numpad but there is an easy solution for that I got this uh, wireless numpad from Microsoft it was a, I think in a, on a discount for $20 or $22 and it works perfectly for me if you need a numpad um, Otherwise, this is a great keyboard. I have it, like I said, for two years and it looks and feels like new. The switches are mostly intact. There are no wearing down. It feels like new and it functions very well. I'm using it for gaming and productivity. It's not advertised like pro gaming keyboard, but I'm playing um, competitive games like War Thunder and World of Tanks in my case with this and I have never had any issue that uh, I would say I was in a disadvantage because I'm using wireless or Bluetooth keyboard and the pro thing is other companies they are advertising for um, gaming keyboards for like Razer or Logitech you're paying about 200 250 300 euros for or dollars for the keyboard and you're getting no wireless bad build quality uh, at least in, in comparison to this and uh, lots of shiny rgb and functions that you not really need so if you look for a nice looking neat small compact wireless keyboard that you can use without problem wired go for this i recommend it for everyone and every day so that was it for me thank you very much i hope this video kind of helped you maybe you liked uh, it and if you liked it leave a like and maybe a subscription because uh, it helps me out thank you <laughs> bye it helps me out thank you <laughs> bye